uh, thanks a lot once again uh, pranam to every one of you so uh, what i'm doing here is when you look at strategy you know see as a strategy professor if i say it's a game plan of a company any if i take a firm or a country or whatever it is a game plan they do there are two reasons how a firm can make money it can be a startup or a or a big firm like google or uh, apple and things like that by doing two simple thing one is called profitability and profit growth let me give you an example like uh, when they were uh, uh so many when if you look at a case of an automobile industry henry ford uh, did a innovation in automobile when uh, he said that uh, okay the cost of automobile is more than 2000 dollars and everybody disliked the product not only because it was costly that i still remember american president saying that uh, it's a it's a snobbish product and we should not buy automobile because it's very costly and the closest substitute for an automobile was a horse drawn carriage which was approximately 400 dollars the cost of the horse drawn carriage was 400 dollars so henry ford came he reduced the time from 21 days 21 man days to 4 days and uh, brought the product lower so around 273 dollars he brought the product and it was mass so people started using the product more because it was lower than the uh, the closest competitor which was horse drawn carriage so he reduced the cost through operational efficiency but and he also improved the quality of the product so the product could go anywhere in water land so there were a lot of other issues with the product but he tried to solve that and had a good price but what happened was uh, he also exported that to europe for some time so the profit growth happened to sell the existing market and enter new market but after some time uh, many people gave them an idea that industry is changing so why don't you uh, add new product line but he refused he said no i'm not going to add new product lines so by doing that what happened here is the other companies like general motors and uh, other uh, american companies they entered the market where uh, ford refused to go because he said no i'm happy with the product and i don't think so customers require new product and then what happened in the similar case the same companies uh, general motors and chevrolet did something good but after some time they did not analyze the market that the fuel cost was increasing so when the cost of fuel increases automatically the maintenance cost of the automobile increases so naturally they need a fuel efficient car so japanese entered american market because they could sense that american customers they require a fuel a fuel is cost is going to increase hence i have to develop a product which is fuel efficient and smaller not huge cars and also good in quality so japanese they overtook the american automobile market only because they could analyze the market well absorb the technology and grow now the question here is how do we use uh, how these things which the success strategy of japanese and continuously upgrading thing and what ford did which uh, he should have learned from gita so that he could uh, he could have improved far better what did general motors and chevrolet did which they should if they knew the principles which were 5000 years ago or 10000 years ago we had that principle they wouldn't have repeated the mistakes and japanese what they did which actually entailed with the buddhist thinking and the gita thinking which held them to really grow so we are going to discuss that so as a firm when you say profitability and profit growth it comes from reduction of cost adding value and raise prices selling with the existing market and enter new markets so if you look at the strategic planning when the firm has to do na it has to do anticipate what is going to happen because there are a lot of chaos is there you have to really filter things along earlier uh, organization used to take around 5 to 10 years for the plant but the issue here is in the current scenario when the research which professor shrinivasan and myself we are doing it's about uncertainty intensifying foreign competition technology obsolescence changing markets population thus managers have to turn to strategic planning thinking how should we think and the thinking how you should think for growth for betterment of society environment all ecosystem partners actually comes from the thinking what geeta told us that's a very strong activity if you look at current scenario na covid 19 situation geopolitical economic cycles and other forces have substantial effect on the fortune of the business which are inherently uncertain it's very very uncertain frankly speaking so it's high volatility in business environment has become the new norm for many so it's not about a very simple clean space or plate is there in front of you you have to actually analyze things excellently well while some scenario analysis is worthwhile some because frankly speaking if i look at from the oil point of view when oil prices goes up and down only because due to small economic issue called 2 million barrels if there is a demand and supply gap of 2 million barrels the price of the oil is going to go up now 2 million barrels can happen due to any reason it can happen due to electrical vehicle coming in the line or environmental norms or legal activities whatever it is so an oil and gas firm has to be ready that whatever happens i need to create sustainability into it 
So how they do it is what we have to see. Now, if you ask a British Petroleum that uh, which company are you in, he will say we are an energy giant. We are not in oil and gas. We are an energy company who is also taking care of uh, sun energy, taking care of uh, wind energy. It's also taking care of energy trading. So it has uh, increased the product profile of it. I'm not only in exploration. That's one of the things which they mentioned. So your business context is and will remain uncertain. But if you get moving now, you can ride the waves of uncertainty instead of being overpowered by them. And this is the sentence with a foreign researcher has mentioned, but it is comes from purely in Gita that yes, everything will remain uncertain, but you have to ready yourself. You have to be strong in yourself, develop and upgrade your capability continuously. You have to be student for life. That word you have a student for life, learning every time helps you to ride the waves of uncertainty instead of being overpowered by them. That's why we say karma is there and whatever happens is good, leave to God. But the issue here is it's not about that. It's about, about your preparation, your activity and thinking positive that helps. Why I'm saying this here is look at these numbers which I'm showing it to you. This was study done by Bain and Co. A big study done by Bain and Co. They have taken a set of 3,865 companies. And uh, they analyzed the 2008 recession and 2020 recession. And when they were analyzing the companies who had 2008 recession, they realized that these companies, 3,865 companies, had the same earning before income and tax. But 14% of them did better versus 86% of them could not bounce back. And this four, difference between this 14% and this 86% was only for a few months, one 14% would got to know there's an opportunity and they tried to change their business model and remain successful. So their acceleration growth happened in, in, as in the recession time. And those companies who acknowledged the recession late, they could not bounce back here. Just look at an amazing research which happened. And when we further went inside, we realized, boss, those companies who took proactive decision during the downtown saw an average better result in the decade that followed. And these companies were, you know what they did? They destructed the, their the old business model and embraced the new business model. They also started creating capabilities from the time they were actually making money. So frankly speaking, I am making profit. So I'll use the profit to invest into new type of products, new capabilities, finding what is happening in the environment, sustainability. And then when something uh, happens, I develop agility and grow. So these are the things we should do. So 86 of the companies did not do. Same research happened in India. So they took 1,000 uh, public companies during 2008-2019 crisis and only 18% of the company grew, 37 of them declined, 21% of shrinking margin and falling sales 24%. means only 18% of the companies improved growth and margin in this. And these same companies have the same traits. They had the three traits, one trait, trait of destruction one trait of creation, one trait of sustainability. These are the three traits they had. Now I'm linking to somewhere, huh? just remember. So, so it was very clear, these were the three traits available with this 18% companies in India and these 14% global companies who actually survived the recession. So further, when you go to strategy, it comes out that the firm performance is determined primarily by two factors, industry and firm effect. Industry effects describe the underlying economic structure of the industry. Firm effect uh, attribute firm performance to the action manager state. And research studies indicate that the firm strategy can explain up to 55% of its performance. Although the firm industry environment is not quite as important as the firm strategy within its industry. They jointly determine 75% of the overall firm performance. Remaining percentage relate to business cycles and other effects. It means what? The profit and loss actually with the, uh, lies in the hands of the firm and actually it is lies in the hand, whatever happened externally, by astute managers. Astute managers create superior performance. Having or showing an ability to accurately assess situation or people and turn this to one's advantage is what is the success mantra for all the astute managers. And how to do it is you come directly from an activity which defined as by Pankaj Gemavati defined a very good thing. He said, first to create an advantage, the firm must configure itself to do something unique and valuable. The configuration is defined as business model. The firm must ensure that there is when where to it to disappear. Someone in the network of suppliers, customer or complement would miss it and no one could replace it perfectly. 
that the reason like somebody says why apple is building his own microchips why samsung is building his own microprocessor the reason is very simple because the product has to upgrade you can't depend on a third party called intel so you have to decide and also you have to keep your things secret and that's the reason that they are in sourcing the process which they had outsourced few years back so you have to also reconfigure your systems for value creation and capture Secondly, the complete advantage usually comes from the full range of firms' activities, from production to finance, from marketing to logistic, acting in harmony. So, what like our body? So, like Gita also says that uh, if your mind is clean and clear and activity, your uh, as well as your body is true, they all together create and act in harmony. That's what we have to decide as a firm also. The essence of creating advantage is finding an integrated set of choices that distinguish your firm from its rivals. If I pass forward, so these are the various modern competitive advantages like speed of delivery, speed of market, price, technology, design, scale, customer service, personalization, intellectual property, and experience. If we further do it, or these crises like 2002 SARS crisis, 2008 financial crisis, 2020 COVID pandemic, those firms who have done well have these three characteristics, which I just mentioned to you: you create, you destroy, correct, and you sustain the current value creation activities. to do this and there's a lot, lot of examples that you can see in the screen let us think uh, let me take you first to the other activity before i go like this for example if you see the bcg's report bcg says that if you look at the covid 2020 versus 2008 crisis the world uh, had a 2008 was far bad bad 27% minus versus uh, 6% for uh, june july 2020 but if you look at the various industries they had different thing like for example biopharma and med and health providers and technology did well but others did bad but if you surprisingly look at india na i'll just want to give you so this is global this is global this was the industries which made which were which did good which did bad but if you look at india one surprising part comes here is yes uh, we grew less uh, 3.3% negative but telecommunication biopharma medtech retail power and gas utilities consumer products they surprisingly did well and you know the reason why because if you go i'll tell you the example i'm going to take you the example of merico uh, and procter and gamble indian procter and gamble example wherein these companies reinvented their business model by thinking the same philosophy which i mentioned the three basic pillars philosophy which i mentioned to you they easily you will be really astonished here 9300 products were launched in 2020 by indian fmcg firms in 6 months flat when covid hit us by just reinventing and developing an agile model which was purely due to the philosophies of geeta which is there and what is the philosophies let me show you something very unique now uh, professor govind ranjan and chris trimble they had a very amazing written did a amazing research and uh, professor govind ranjan does a lot of research in on geeta and other activities so i'm showing a part of the his research this was a research published in harvard business review where they said just look at the paragraph which is mentioned on the right hand side consider a few great innovation stories of past decade google netflix uh, skype how ask yourself wasn't google created by microsoft why couldn't google create microsoft netflix or blockbuster or skype by at&t why do we establish corporations struggling to find out the next big thing before a new competitor does why that happens the problem is pervasive the examples are countless the simple explanation is that many companies become too focused on executing today's business model and forget the business model are perishable success today does not guarantee success tomorrow so value creation and capture how you are going to do what you have created will help you today but tomorrow it will not be helpful because you have to do scenario planning and proper activity and environment is is very uncertain to access your company vulnerability try this diagnosis on separate index card write down all the important initiative underway in your organization then create three boxes manage the present selective forget the past and create the future and now if i just ask you anyone can just tell me when i say manage the present what reminds you about lord krishna saying in the gita as well as the holy trinity of the hinduism selectively forget the past and create the future any hint do you get by looking at just box 1 box 2 and box 3 anyone any anyone from the thing say okay sir i think so we can we are linking to this or we are linking to this anyone i think i am yeah please pardon ma'am the slide is not moving so 
you can't see consider a few great innovation stories uh, i no, remember to see this muted boxes boxes which boxes are you talking about nahi are you seen professor uh, vijay yeah, govind rajan yeah. yes yes we can see that and uh, can you see this last this thing sentence box 1 manage the present no, box no no self- no no that is not visible that no problem Create descriptive Maybe. and sustainability yeah yeah can you see this slide box 1 yeah. better yes yeah, yes yeah. yes, yes. so now they said the companies to ensure they must give the forces of preservation destruction and creation Sustain. means when in covid 2020 in 20 as well as 2008 one thing which came out very clearly is those firms who did well actually they did three things simultaneously preservation destruction and creation in right balance striking the balance is the ceo most important task but most companies overwhelmingly favor box 1 which is called preservation they don't do neither proper destruction neither creation and creation they say some innovation activity but it is not weaved to the three part called preservation destruction and creation so the forces of preservation rigging supreme forces of destruction and creation are overshadowed and outmatched and out of luck so same research happened 2008 2020 those companies who did well in 2008 recession which i showed you 14% 18% and those companies who did well in 2020 21 covid 19 recession actually had these three things in them they had preservation destruction and creation and then professor govind ranjan brings a very nice example he says as per geeta we say that uh, the person has to upgrade himself continuously same thing happened look at this olympic gold medal winners in high jump they said earlier there used to be scissors so you used to take uh, jump so you could not increase more than 2.4 uh, meters then you had something called western so you had a different way of uh, jumping so you could actually increase a bit but when uh, so from 2 from 2 you went to approximately just touching 2 then you have a uh, saddle type of jumping but flossberry flop it was a thing which was a very new thing he said why i am doing the same thing which other people are doing i have to learn so he learned from the experiences of scissors western and straddle and try a back flip that flag flip really made charl austin climb to 2.4 far higher the highest uh, jump now this they say you have to do preservation destruction as well as creation together and that is what is transformation process of hindu mythology in hindu mythology harvard business school there is a core uh, core reading in the uh, corporate strategy course there which mention hinduism provides a unique window into the three perspectives he said we have been told for so many years as a person as a people we have to have these three characteristics inbuilt with us continuous improvement you should think like lord krishna says you have to be you are a student you learn every experience don't don't uh, be a think as time is a thing which flows you don't have to think that uh, something bad has happened to me learn about why this bad happened to me how can i improve this think positive and positive things is going to happen same thing they say hinduism provides a unique window into the three perspective we focus on this uh, in article they mention managing the present selective forgetting the past and creating the future the religion recognize many gods but only three main deities lord vishnu god of preservation shiva the god of destruction and brahma the god of creation and then they said these all three have some uh, uh, lay, uh, power to help and sustain them together like for example the very nice example they say if you create something you should need to get the facilitation environment so like brahma is doing creation lord saraswati helps them to decide the creation and fulfillment activity when lord shiva wants to really uh, do a destruction but he does a proper see when you even do destruction has to be properly done nor it will go like for example when you when you are doing a nuclear bomb you should know very well where it should hit how it should but you should not use it but for better purposes like for example you are building a dam so what how where you have to put how much uh, number uh, quantity should be there how much pressure used to be there so you should have a creative thinking in destruction also and when you are doing preservation preservation does not mean putting in a box it is continuously upgrading and improvement so they say the hindu mytho makers every pair each of the three gods with symbolic relevant vibes vishnu was married to lakshmi who bestowed wealth so when you do preservation you should also look at sensitivity environmental sensitivity you should also look at sustainability upgradation helping people so there are a lot of things in they have beautifully mentioned and that is what it is like uh, even in when you mention in hindu mythology they mention very nice thing here yes preservation does not mean putting something in a, like a in in a jar no you have to systematically upgrade it 
when knowledge comes you have to also share the knowledge also trying to give a facilitation environment everything comes there so you produces the current income so when a company is there you have company has to manage something called preservation means produces current income and have to think in a like bcg matrix shiva partner was parvati who symbolizes power so when you look at thing when uh, creative destruction which we talk about selectively destroying the past so you have to decide what the, like i told you the jumping now for example if the fellow had done the same scissors he wouldn't have even grown uh, more than 1.5 year so you have to do innovations to do better and better in life so dynamic capability actually is a process which actually came from there so brahma who bestowed by to saraswati who symbolizes creativity ideas and knowledge the critical inputs in formulating box 3 of the strategies and even there's a very nice article of procter and gamble factor factor factory strategy by same uh, uh, vijay govindraj he mentions about this creation he said in hindu mythology they say how you have to create or germinate seeds remember that even when you look at uh, lord krishna was telling about why uh, uh, pandavas are good at versus why the uh, the kauravas were bad he was mentioning about the grooming mechanism he mentioned about how pandavas were groomed how mother of pandavas really think they didn't try to uh, put on the in, on to the all the pandavas that you have to become king you have to uh, show your power nothing they every time mentioned about grooming you t- they talked about what you should learn you should take care of uh, uh, brahmans you have to take care of older people you have to respect teachers you have to take care of environment they they were cultivated better knowledge which really made their uh, education activities fulfill and really grow to a different level altogether that is what we have to start and the firm has to think that so the procter and gamble factory strategy is that they said why did japanese did better because increment kaizen is a increment number kaizen is nothing but the the thing which they talk about the grooming of a child that is what is what they discussed there so creative ideas and knowledge critical in forming the formulation box 3 according to hindu philosophy the balance interaction among the three gods create a continuous preservation destruction and creation cycle that helps sustain all form of life in a cycle without a beginning or an end that is a very critical part they mentioned and further elaborates now i'll just ask you a very simple question what was the first product of general electric anyone what was the first product of general electric any guesses any guess what 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 we think maybe or if i give you a hint the the first patent of general electric was bulb so naturally the first product would be bulb but if you look at the current scenario general electric it is an engine it is in material science it is in electronics uh, thing it is in finance it is in media so the product profile grows but frankly speaking because they analyze the market they groomed individual they grew from inside correct look at from inside out and outside in uh, perspective but they and some product which didn't well they exited like jack welch also said and i believe it beautifully he mentioned he said a ceo really has to preserve the thing which is good so destroy the things which is not good as well as create new thing for the future generation that's what we talk about preservation destruction and creation is a part of the ceo who survives so all the 18 com- percent companies as well as 14 percent companies in the world who survived this type of recession frankly speaking cultivated the same philosophy of the hinduism philosophy mentioned preservation destruction and creation all these three things were combined by different way of working in processes so we say strategy is a three model perspective so one of the model is called process and process like we say how the goddess lakshmi uh, says good activity so as if you know why we make swastik we say that the one part goes to the uh, development of animals one part goes to the development of society one part for you for the future and second part for children so these are the things you how you invest and develop your product portfolio when goddess parvati says we have to germinate even in destruction we have to understand what we have to destruct at what time how you have to manage the whole activity and process together so it's not about uh, doing anything which is not planned you should have a proper systematic thing which is creative and if you look at how goddess saraswati talk about creation ideas and knowledge facilitation talk about activity i really feel very touched when i want to give a very nice example i was implementing one project for a very big uh, electronics company in the world she was third largest electronic company in the world in a place called ranjangaon near pune there is a ashtvinayak temple in a very beautiful place there people are so simple when we told them you have to do innovation innovation means that you have to do, uh, reduce the time how much you take in packaging of a television correct so please pack you take 20 second to pack a television please pack in a 14 seconds so we made them clear very 
very good process. The second part we did was we asked them that uh, what resources and activity you need. And they were so simple people. They didn't ask money. They didn't ask extra time. They didn't ask resources. They just told me, Ki, sir, can you give me two cup of extra tea? They used to get tea every four hours. So they told, sir, do do ghante. I mean, says, uh, every two hours, can you give a small tea till we are thinking how we can do a work study to reduce the uh, reduce the time so that from 20 seconds, we can do in 14 seconds. And surprisingly, they did it in 12 seconds. So the facilitation environment, the internal motivation, the other activities help the germination. That's what being taught to us. And that is what is the success. And they did it in 12 seconds. And South Korean company copied that in South Korea. So just imagine Ranjan Gao in near Pune. You develop a strategy and use it in South Korea. It's an amazing thing. So issue here is when we look at the rehearsal and when we talk about this activity, preservation, destruction and creation has to be part of a human being. One human being has all the three characteristics. He has to preserve what he loves and, uh, and as well as good for society and social activity. He should destruct the parts which you don't like. Lord Krishna very beautifully mentioned here when uh, Lord Karna, when uh, he was being killed, he said, you have kept all the grudges in you. If you have left the grudges and thought in a positive manner, correct, you would have been a very different personality what you are in. So we have to leave our grudges inside that thing and think about why it happened, how it can further be improved and think positive. That is what is this condition I mean breaking. Then creation, how you have to think beautiful. So once you have that positive thinking in your mind, you can create anything, any beautiful activity. There's a very nice uh, chapter where Lord Krishna goes to uh, in Dhrashtarashtra and tells him that uh, give them five villages. Let us not have war. Correct? So, but there were multiple reasons for him to go there and understand that activity. So, but issue here is when you look at these issues, how a person has to do, he tried to preserve also. He had tried to understand things, made them uh, understand what you're doing is bad, but also un learn multiple activities, which will help for the new creation. So these three things, which we have to do. So I'll just stop here because I don't want, I can go back. It's a, a 70 thing. I had a case of Mariko and other things which were there, how they changed, how they preserved something, how they grew something. So so I'll stop here now. I already have taken the time off. So uh, more time than this. So can we have a question and answer, please?